there are people in the martial arts community so-called martial arts community these people that in my estimation don't really know certain aspects of the martial arts that they really should have been taught in the very beginning one of those things is respect for the brotherhood how is it that you have all of these organizations police department fire department medical institutions various other industries where these people are united they have cohesiveness even in the church world you have all of these different organizations where you have people who are bonded together for one cause one purpose you would think that something called martial arts which prides itself on discipline courtesy respect love of humanity and respecting your fellow human being your fellow man you would think that, that there would not be jealousy and envy and even hatred towards other martial arts practitioners or martial artists just simply because they don't study what you study or train in what you train or that you don't like their particular system and or style or because they're getting a lot of press notoriety stardom popularity and even money well we all know that Bruce Lee was one of these individuals that has been targeted many many years after his death there have in other words been some of the gentlemen primarily who were around during the time that Bruce Lee was living after he's dead 40 50 years all of a sudden he's not credible as a martial arts master he wasn't that good he wasn't even average according to Steven Seagal a couple years ago he was not even close to some of the greats according to Steven Seagal some others say he was just simply an actor Victor Moore made that assertion some say that you know this kid here you know I thought all he was was just an actor what he did on screen wasn't martial arts or he didn't even finish training in Wing Chun so who gave you the right and or the authority to say what level he should be on in any particular art doesn't he as anyone else have the right to study and train for as long as they want to in any specific or particular discipline that's what he did his whole contention was he wanted to pre perfect his own art for himself it was personal it had nothing to do with what your opinion was of him he took Wing Chun as far as he could take Wing Chun to benefit Bruce Lee and he went from there and he added some fencing some Western boxing some other Kung Fu systems some savat or French foot fighting and some weaponry even Okinawan weapons some Filipino martial arts some judo and jujitsu he added that and incorporated that into his own system and this is what has been the talk of many of the martial artists from that era who are still with us today and even some of the newer martial arts practitioners are so-called as I said earlier and the reason I say it's so-called because you don't beat up on other people just because they are more popular than you or maybe you even deem them better than you and you don't want to give them the credit for what they have accomplished i.e. Chuck Norris I'm sorry I'm not bashing anyone I'm just stating it like it really is there have been many people who have been questioned about Bruce Lee's ability they wanted to insert themselves 
they wanted to place themselves on the same level as Bruce Lee and even greater than Bruce Lee during the time that he had lived. I'm not saying that Bruce Lee's craft didn't stink. I'm not saying that there was not anyone as good as or better than Bruce Lee. If there were during his time, did they come to the surface? I rest my case. So he was, at that particular time, the most popular martial arts practitioner and has been held as such many years later and still is today. Bruce Lee is synonymous with martial arts. You can't mention martial arts without mentioning Bruce Lee as being one of the pioneers. I'm sorry, it's just simply the truth. So here's the question, the real question. These old heads, these old martial arts guys that were still living during the time that Bruce Lee lived, that were still here when Bruce Lee was here. If he wasn't all that, as some say, or he wasn't a good martial artist or as great as people say he was, why didn't you challenge him then when he was living? Why didn't you tell him that then? Why didn't you call him out then? Why didn't you make these things public then? Why do you wait many, many years later after the man is dead and gone, still immortalized, and still part of the conversation when it comes to martial arts with most? You wait all of this time to say that he wasn't that good of a martial artist. Can you say jealous? Can you say envy? Can you say maybe, maybe even your prejudice, depending on who you are? Can you say that maybe your ego is overinflated and you just simply don't want a man that came from Asia to be the pinnacle, the epitome of martial arts excellence or excellence over Western martial artists or martial artists period but in most instances it's people in America born and raised here that have made these arguments these fruitless arguments that Bruce Lee was not that good I'm sorry I don't want to get on a big rant any longer than I have to but the question is still before you. Now forget all of the new guys that's coming around. They're still wet behind the ears. Who've only been in MMA for 10 years, 15 years. They're new. They haven't been around long enough to really have an honest opinion about Bruce Lee. Because a lot of them think that they're better than Bruce Lee was. I simply doubt it, but I'm talking about really the old guys that lived during the time that Bruce Lee lived. These guys were not invited to major martial arts functions as the guest celebrity Bruce Lee was. These guys have no major martial arts pictures to their credit. Bruce Lee does. Bruce Lee expressed his art on film during the time that he lived. Bruce Lee had manuscripts and notes and books on his art. Bruce Lee had amassed a library of approximately 2,000 books on the fighting arts. Can we say that these other guys did that? Not to say that they don't matter because they do. We are all important. And you need to look at yourself as an individual. And don't stand outside the glass house throwing rocks and hiding behind the tree when you have to be held accountable for what you've done. Isn't it just better to just accept things the way they are and just give the person the credit that they deserve and move on? Bruce Lee is still the greatest martial artist of the 20th and the 21st century. 
and the guys that were living during the time that he was alive and even those that are still living from that time period they just did not want to give him the credit that he was due because if your argument today bore any real weight you would have said something to Bruce Lee during that time and you know what he would have shown you what he was about he would have put you in your place in a very polite way and you would have known that you don't mess with the dragon this is teacher I'll see you next time if you have any comments section below so long